Levi's, a brand we all know, the iconic jeans maker, they've survived through wars, depressions, they've survived for 160 years, but it could be yoga pants, yes, yoga pants that finally does the company in. That is the cover story of the latest issue of Bloomberg Business Week. You can find it online today on newsstands tomorrow. Bloomberg's Tim Higgins wrote the story and he joins me now from San Francisco. So Tim, just how much trouble is Levi's in? Well, Levi's is doing great in the men's market. It has 25% of it globally uh, for jeans. But women's, they've only got 5% globally. And in the past year in the U.S., jean sales for women has decreased by 8%. And NPD tells us that it's on a one-to-one -one basis now. There's many jeans that are being sold as yoga pants. It's really kicking their butts in some ways. And so they, they really set out to kind of create a jean that would be more appealing to women but still be, uh, still be jeans, still be denim. So what they come up with? I know you spoke to uh, the director of technical innovation. I didn't realize that denim companies have directors of technical innovation, but the story's very cool. You actually went into the labs. What are they doing to compete with Lululemon? Yeah, the company that created jeans, that created the modern jeans all those years ago, has opened a lab two years ago in San Francisco, in downtown San Francisco, just four blocks from their corporate headquarters. And they've got this, uh, these, all these guys, all these men and women working on the future of denim, the uh, future of jeans. And uh, they, they got into the, the fabric level, breaking down what made something comfortable, what made something more resilient, um, if they were to insert it with the, the denim in, the, in, in, these, in these products. Uh, they talked about ways to use lasers to uh, 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 essentially contour the fabric in a way to make it look uh, more appealing on a, on a woman. Uh, they, uh, they've used uh, various other techniques to just make this new material look and feel like traditional denim, but be softer and more uh, stretchy, like uh, uh, more uh, popular pants. So are these still going to look like jeans? Are they going to look like skinny jeans? Or are they going to look like jeggings, the, the hybrid well, denim legging? Right. The jeggings would be the enemy in this situation. They do not want to create uh, something that doesn't look authentic to the Levi's brand. And so these jeans look like jeans. I, in fact, uh, you know, holding them up sometimes, I couldn't tell which was the new one and which was the old one. It was touching them that you, it was really the key. It was softer. Um, I, in fact, I took a young woman to try some jeans on as a secret shopper, and she was uh, blown away uh, by it, really shocked at uh, how comfortable and, and easy to, to try on they were, you know, Normally, uh, it's really hard to find a, the, the best pit fit of jeans, and she'd put one right off the shelf, and, and, it, and it fit immediately. It is nearly impossible to find the perfect pair of jeans, uh, and perhaps that's why some people like jeggings, because they fit no matter what size you are. Uh, right. So to be clear, Tim, the problem is not that people are buying, is the problem that people are buying less and less jeans to wear, or that they are buying less Levi's jeans? It's jeans in general. Uh, it, it, really what's going on is that yoga pants have been you kind of the, become the thing that you wear on the weekends, you get the, not just to yoga, but to the farmer's market, to all the leisure activities that you probably in the past would have worn jeans to. And, and so the, the idea here is to kind of get back into that category. Jeans are still popular for work. They're still popular for going out in the evenings. Uh, but uh, it's uh, getting back to the kind of the thing you wear whenever you kind of need to wear something that's not work clothes is the, is the trick. Uh, Tim, so Levi's now has as this sort of cool, hip, youngish CEO. What's his strategy here? So it's definitely that. He's putting more resources into, into doing women's uh, jeans. In the past, they, they've focused heavily on men's, where they still do very well. Uh, he's he's couple, several years into a turnaround plan. Um, it was going pretty well. He's, he's had two consecutive years of revenue growth and operating profit. And this year, if he's successful, and in part because of the women's jeans, he might have the th uh, third year of revenue, adjusted revenue growth and adjusted profit growth. It would be the first time in 20 years the company has done that. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Looking forward to reading your cover story, Distressed Denim. It is the Bloomberg Business Week cover story out on newsstands and online.